Welcome to my sixth video and today I'm gonna do 50 shades of myself and I'm dressed in gray to explain where I got my inspiration from so just to give you an idea my questions um, are provided from this actor that I met in Indonesia his name is Ashraf Sinclair and he gave me this list of questions that he usually goes through when he's trying to get into a new character for his role in a film or a television drama because he's an actor. So I thought I'm gonna choose 50 interesting questions from this list. So here we go. Um, my name is Shin Yun Hae. And Shin is my family name after my dad's family. And Yun is also part of my dad's name. And He is part from my mom's name. Um, it literally means like glorious mercy. Um, I'm a female and sometimes I feel lucky that I'm born as a female because we girls have so many choice to what to wear, um, to do our makeup, and our shoes compared to guys. And sometimes we get good treatments by guys, so I feel pretty good about being women. Um, I'm 32, and I think I am not young, I'm not too old, um, but I'm probably at an age where I have to start blogging as soon as possible if I want to start blogging. Um, my complexion is right now with a bit of makeup, but normally it's a bit more yellowish and yes, it's less darker than this because I've applied makeup right now. My height is 1 meter 71 and as I've explained in my second video, um, I know I'm not short, but I'm, I know I'm not tall enough to be a runway model and it has been kind of a complex in my life. Um, my weight currently is around 55 kilograms um, and my ideal weight for me would be to stay at 50 but it's the hardest thing for me because I love eating and I have all these like bone structure and I have my height so it's really hard to reach 50 and stay at 50 and that's probably why I'm not a model. Um, what is my color of hair is, um, you can see that's really my root. So my color of hair is kind of dark brown in its normal color. But right now, um, if you check my Instagram pictures, um, my color is kind of like balayage. So it's kind of in between like a caramel blonde and kind of like light brown. Um, I quite like it because it gives me like a lighter uh, lighting when I take pictures and I look pretty dressed up without doing too much to my hair um, but it's quite damaged because normally I really have like good texture of hair. Um, I kind of have this asymmetrical face. So when I'm in front of the camera like this, directly facing towards the camera, maybe um, it shows a little bit. So from this side and from this side, it's very different. And having this kind of asymmetrical face on top of my very flat, like, Asian face is something that I've been sort of um, mocked at. Um, I've been made fun of even in Korea and I didn't like it so much until like some Europeans told me that I have a beautiful Asian face. Um, uh, since I love fashion, I like to kind of be all dressed up and kind of in a be in an upscale environment rather than in a too cozy environment and sometimes um, that puts me in an attitude where like I'm a bit posh or I'm a bit arrogant but trust me I'm not like that 
Um, my handicaps, I think, is for currently driving because I have a driver's license and I've actually never driven. I've never used a car since I got my driver's license and in Korea, I got a driver's license for driving automatic cars and in Europe, mostly, they're using like manual. So for me, it's really hard to use manual because I've never learned how to use it and because you're in Europe, like you need to have a car and you need to be able to drive if you want to get somewhere by yourself and I really can't do that. So currently that's the thing that's really blocking me in Europe. Um, I don't have any allergies, but sometimes I have this like really uh, struck of heart beat. So sometimes it gets really low in terms of like blood pressure, but then so that my heart will start to bump like beats so hard that I can feel my body that's like shaking all together with like the beat of the heart and it wouldn't stop for like sometimes like an hour and I have to really lie down and try to breathe like regularly so I'm really scared that one day I'm gonna have a heart attack um, I love walking um, because I've also like kind of practiced how to walk on a runway uh, But like of course street is not a runway, but we can always do that So I love walking while I'm listening to music listening to music and then just like Doing people watching and then like walking on nice streets where you can see like nice um, Buildings nice shops and nice people walking by I love walking on the streets um, usually I don't sit, um, because I like to, I guess I like to observe people and I don't want to be observed too much, I don't know, but, um, I would usually not sit down everywhere versus like I have this friend who joined me in, in Italy that I mentioned in my second video and she was like sitting down everywhere we went she would find a chair like miraculously and then she would just like sit there as if like she belonged to that place whereas i'm not really sitting everywhere i go so next question yes i usually stand because i guess like i don't blend in directly until i observe the full place and i find myself i want to sit down or i'm really tired so i want to sit down then i would sit down but mostly i would be like standing up um, I like to wear something that reveals my body features um, and also that accentuates my body feature because my legs are um, quite long in terms of my proportion whereas my waistline is kind of like block like this so I like to wear like crop tops or even jackets that are really short that cuts at my belly line and then I like to wear like high-waisted jeans or mom jeans or like skinny jeans that comes up quite up to the waist so that from what I wear like it accentuates my body um every day when I wake up usually depends like if I'm with my boyfriend then I would just like um cuddle before I get up um but if I'm by myself I would definitely check my phone um, I graduated from Ihua Women's University. Um, it's an all women's university in Korea and I studied international studies um, but it took me like five and a half years to graduate because I took some semesters off and uh, while I took my semesters off um, I was doing like minoring in dance um, and I actually ended up taking a minor degree in dance. Uh, my childhood was, I guess, kind of lonely because I didn't really like to stay with others. I liked to spend time by myself. So I spent a lot of time like observing people. And then it got like kind of more into in that way when I went to live in England with my parents because in the beginning it was really hard for me to make friends. So I guess I was kind of like a loner um, and I was an observer and I was a hard worker definitely and I had a lot of dreams um, I'm South Korean um, I'm blessed that I'm South Korean because I luckily live in an era where South Korean uh, products such as like beauty products or like K-pop or K-drama is becoming so popular so even without being in the industry or working in that industry I get to be like liked by so many people just because I'm South Korean 
um, yeah. Uh, my occupation currently, if you ask me in a very traditional way, like none. Um, but if you saw my second video, you know that I worked in retail before, um, but right now, none. Um, and right now, I'm trying to become a full-time blogger. So please subscribe and help me. Um, my political attitudes are pretty neutral. Um, I really don't have like a strong political point of view, um, but my family is kind of deep rooted in democratics in Korea. Um, so sometimes I naturally go with that flow from the family. Um, if I could be anyone else, I would be Kiara Ferrani or Rihanna. Um, I do like guys in a way that um, I like to watch their fashion to begin with because sometimes like guys and girls fashion are quite different and sometimes when you see a guy in like a good style and good hairdo and everything like that it's really interesting um, in terms of like relationship I think it's pretty confusing and complicated not confusing complicated is the word um, my parents are my biological mom and my biological dad. My dad was a journalist and who is now retired and writing books. And my mom was also from like journalism background, but she had quit when she had me. Um, and my brother, which is going to be my next question. Um, and she stayed as a full-time mom. Now that she is free, um, she is also working as like a therapist and I love both of them but I have more closer relationship with my mom because I can really open up to her to tell her everything and she would be like my personal therapist or a psychiatrist um, so it's really good that mom and I can share a lot of things and she can always like advise me and take care of me um, so, as I mentioned already, I have one brother who is younger than me. Um, he is now in Korea, but he used to study in San Francisco and he studied illustration for his major. And he is now actually working in a company which creates um, characters. Um, I love sports. And so I always dreamt of like doing extreme sports as well, such as like surfing, um, but I never really got to it. So instead I did like a lot of indoor sports, like I've danced a lot, like I mentioned before. Um, I've done yoga, I still do. Um, I've done a lot of swimming and um, cycling, that's outdoors. So I love sports. Um, I am not married. I am planning to get married, um, but I am still waiting for that, I don't know, proposal? Um, so I have, this question is quite difficult. Um, so since I am kind of um, outgoing in terms of my character characteristic um, but then I'm kind of tall and I'm kind of like outspoken and my voice tends to be quite big um, I think I get along with people pretty well and I like to you know be in good vibes with people and since I've been in a lot of situations where you are meeting like new people for the same time but you really have to like be like close with them and mingle with them um, I kind of have that posture i guess where i bring myself to sort of engage with people and sort of be the big sister um if i can um what makes me angry all the time is when i know that myself hasn't haven't devoted uh all of myself to doing what i love to do and this is something a bit too profound maybe uh, but I've always never um, persisted to do what I love 
and I believe like that's part of my responsibility and when I realize that there are other people who are far ahead of me than where I am it really makes me angry because at the same time I cannot do anything about it but I know it's myself that I can I can claim that for um sometimes I have this instinct and maybe it's not always for the best result um but I've had those moments when I felt like I feel something and something was actually happening at that time like for example when my grandfather like my maternal grandfather was on his deathbed and he were he was staying in the hospital full time um so me and my mom and my brother and my grandma we did like the last kind of like a visit to him like a regular visit that we did on a daily basis and then my mom was like oh you guys go home and rest um, so my grandma took me and my brother in a taxi and then we were heading home while my mom was still staying in the hospital and then when I was getting on the taxi and opening the taxi door I felt like a <gasps> kind of like feeling in my chest uh, like an oomph and um, like and then after that I just felt it's weird and then we got home and then when we arrived home uh, my mom called to say like your grandpa has passed away so I thought like that kind of oomph is what I felt when he stopped breathing or something which is kind of spooky but I feel like that was kind of my instinct um, I'm a very impulsive person although it's very hard to be with another impulsive person um, it's not always impulsive in a way that um, it will kill me but it was it's more impulsive in a way that I really follow my feelings to do something that I want to do so um, mostly it's my argument for doing what I want or buying something that I want or going somewhere that I want to go to um, I worry about mostly for my future because um, my dreams have all, all been demolished and right now I'm really trying hard to become a blogger and it's still hard and um, I'm at an age where I think I need to be quite settled in certain ways and I haven't built anything for that so I'm actually quite worried about my future um, so I fear about um, growing old, not having done anything, um, and then kind of growing poor. Um, mostly uh, people who know me, they like me. Um, so I have this thing where I don't want to disappoint people or I don't want to have people against me. So that's probably why I observe people more also to see what they like in the people, what they like to pursue in their life so that I can associate with them. And by giving them advice or like listening to them or talking about the subject that they care about with them, of course, it makes them like feel more comfortable with me. And if I can be of help or uh, give any type of advice, of course, like, you know it's more likely that they like me and so people who know me um, I think they like me do you guys like me um, I admire uh, those women who are working um, as a working mother um, and particularly I've seen a lot of them in fashion so like for example like models like Alessandro Ambrosio Adriana Lima, um, Dao Chen, um, Giselle Bunchen, all these like supermodels, they work with their physics. So they always have to take care of their body and they have to be probably on the runway three weeks after they give birth, which they do. And at the same time, they're always like at the peak of the career, even if they have like a family and their kids back at home. And I think it's also their kind of inner struggle, but then they've succeeded to balance it out so that they still reach the peak of their career while having their family. And I really, really admire those supermodels. 
Um, my voice, as you can see, is sometimes kind of like low, um, but it tends to be in a relatively higher pitch. Um, and it's usually quite loud, so even my friends, if like I'm talking to them on the subway or like public transportation, they would like have to hush me down because I'm like talking so loud. Um, my articulation, I think it's um, not always clear because as, as much as I think it's clear, like there are times where people are not understanding me or not getting me right away. And I think I have a teeth or mouth structure where I have like a lot of, I don't know, inner articulation going on. So as much as I speak it out, like there's parts that like kind of like sucks and sunks in, I think. So I kind of have to work on it, I guess. Um, my gestures are usually complete if I intend them to be complete. But most of the time, um, I try to be subtle in a way. So I leave it like incomplete and then I would regret it and then I would go back to complete it. So in the end, I make it complete. Um, well, right now I have my towel. I thought I would put my towel so that I kind of portray like a purer side of me and it's true, I actually just my, took my shower even though I had time to do my makeup afterwards. Um, so like, yeah, right now it's my towel. Um, and I also like to keep a watch on me all the time so that like, I guess if you didn't put a watch, like you would then realize, oh, I don't have my watch on. But when you put your watch on, you've looked at it whenever you needed it, needed it. So you didn't realize it's not there. But whenever I forgot to put it on, I would know like, oh my God, I don't have a watch. So I'm always like carrying a watch with me or like putting on a watch. Um, usually, uh, my relationship to the environment is for me to be sort of like in the picture. Like I like to fit in in that environment and I try to blend in and I really try to make like the best out of that environment whilst I'm being inside. Um, it's the same thing when I'm doing photo shoots because I like to do photo shoots on streets or in like certain environments and you always have to place yourself where you get the best lighting and then you would have like the best outcome inside the picture. So I really like to sort of blend in and find the perfect spot that will make me like sort of look like the queen. Um, I was very religious until like college, I think, because I used to go to like Catholic church. Um, I'm actually baptized in Catholic church um, and my Catholic name is Catherine. So at certain point, I used to call myself Kate whenever I met like foreigners. Um, and I used to sing in the choir and I used to read the Bible of the day, Bible verse of the day on certain Sundays. And if you're in a choir, you have to go to practice every two times a week. So you have to be very devoted. Um, but I guess that doesn't relative, that necessarily mean that you are religious. But I was active in the religious like practices. Um, so as I mentioned before, I have close relationship with my mom. And she is definitely the one who influenced me a lot. Um, directly because she literally like advises me a lot and when I was much younger she would literally sort of tell me what I should do and I was the one who followed as long as I was okay with it um, whereas my dad like he never really engages um, with what I am going through in my life although he knows what's going on and then um, the way that he influences me is more on how he lives his life because I always observe people and of course when you're with your family, like the family that you're living with are the first, you know, people that you encounter the most and of course you observe the most. And for me, since I think I kind of have like similar characteristic like my dad, um, I want to look at him more closely to know what is going on in his life and 
what he does to his life might come in my life. So I do have influence from both of them, but it's in a very different way. Um, my favorite fairy tale as a kid, I don't know if you can call the Disney's like stories as a fairy tale, um, but my favorite was like The Little Mermaid. Um, my aunt uh, who lives in Georgia, Atlanta right now, she used to live in Florida, Miami. And when I was a kid, like she used to send me all the Disney videos. And I think the very first one was also like The Little Mermaid. And I really liked it because of the freedom that was expressed inside the mermaid herself. And she had her life um, underwater. She had her own like kingdom and she had her own like sort of, you know, daily routines of like swimming around with, um, what's the, the fish's name? Anyway, the friends and like she has her own life to enjoy, but she just wants to um have her voice and so i like that bubbly character of the little mermaid and how also it ended as well um i face choices um not so much but i guess one of the choices was to make my journey up to milan and really to spend my time to focus on blogging and i've made it um, the next choice would be to really carry it on and no matter what happens in my life um, really to carry it on until I see myself fit um, so what do I want is I really want to be um, keep on blogging and really have become this persona that is quite strong in social media um, and I really really want to go to the fashion week. Um, it's been my dream since I was a kid um, I guess when I wanted to model that was part of the thing too But now that I I know that I'm passing the modeling dream um, I really want to still go to fashion week because I love to go there. Um, it's all I've been seeing all my um, sort of life through like magazines through like websites through other bloggers now and I really wish I'm the one who's there um, to feel it to dress up as um, those people invited to the shows and then do my own video there and I will definitely share it with you guys if I'm there um, I what do I like about myself is um, actually I think I'm like kind of multi-talented although not one single talent has really taken me somewhere um, in terms of like really practical skills um, I like to learn languages and it tends to be picked up pretty well so now that I've been um, learning French for the past couple of years um, I can speak quite well with French people in French and um, whenever I'm like in a new city, like I like to pick up their language, but although it's going to take time and that's what I kind of like about myself because I can engage with people faster and also express myself, which is the more important part. Um, what I don't like about myself is that I've always given up so easily on everything that I believed in um, which is not to say that I don't believe in those things. I always believe in those things and I've always given up so easily and that's what I really hate about myself and I really wish that no matter what happens, um, I'll really keep it up this time. Um, and sometimes there are those times that I've decided that, okay, I'm going to give up this and I'm going to give up that because I think it's hard, blah, blah, blah. And obviously I would regret those choices and I would revisit like every single time that I start to, you know, hate myself. Um, so my attitude is very irresponsible in a way because I know that I'm the one who made those choices and I'm the one who's not happy with those. Um, I guess I have to be more careful in my next steps and um really not be like peer pressured by anything but really listen to my own voice 
um, my friends are usually those ones who have opened up their part of the story and in the end who has also listened to my story my stories are, although I can say this in front of a video to post on YouTube, um, it's not always easy for me to share with everyone else. Not only because like they wouldn't listen to you, but also because like when you are at certain status in your life, not everyone associates with you and tries to give them, give you their attention to hear you out. So I'm not saying like those people become my enemies, but they, they don't know me, so they don't become friends. Um, whereas uh, people who know me, they would really become my friends and they are really the support group that is now kind of everywhere because now that I've lived in Korea, um, Indonesia and in France kind of like they're kind of all there. Although they're, although they're not like big crowd of people, they're really concentrated uh, number of people that I can really count on and even like send messages to to really hear us out My last question so as I mentioned, I'm not married so I guess I would like talk about my boyfriend um, I think my boyfriend is an amazing person and very talented and um, Really full of dreams and I really hope for his own sake that he will reach his dream um, in terms of him in our relationship, um, I wish that he would see me as the person that I am instead of the person he wants me to be in his vision. Um, if that works out, I think we're a perfect couple because we look so cute together. Um, so thank you so much guys for uh, hearing me out on my sixth video. Keep coming back because I'm going to make more amazing videos for you guys and I really hope that um, we'll all work it out so we'll reach to that level that we all dream of and I really wish that everyone else's dream will come true because you and we are so worth it. Thanks guys! Bye! Ciao!